When you look at the number 8, how do you see it? Do you see it as 4 added to itself or 2 times 2 times 2 or 1 plus 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 1? Well, they're all the same but today for our logarithmic purposes, let's take it as 2 into 2 into 2. Now, this is 2 cube. From exponents, we know that this value is 8. Now, logarithms is basically like the inverse of exponents. Let me tell you how. You see, in logarithms, there's a base for everything. So if you want to write log a to the base 2, this is how it's written. This just means how many times do I need to multiply this base with itself to get this number, which in this case is 8. And that's why we know that log 8 to the base 2 is 3 because 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. Now, think of it like this. You have some steps here. Now, this means the first step is 1. The second step is 1 into 4, which is 4. The third step is 4 into 4, which is 60. The fourth step is 4 into 4 into 4, which is 64 and so on. Now, logarithms is about these number of steps. Say, we want to find the value of log 256 to the base 4. Now, in this system of 4, how many steps do you need to take to reach 256? Well, that's 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you need 4 steps to reach 256. That's why the log 256 to the base 4 is 4. Now take another example. Take a system that's multiplied by 5. In this system, if you want to reach 3125, that means log 3125 to the base 5, how many steps do you need? You need 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That's why log 3125 to the base 5 is 5. So what have we learned in this video? We have seen an introduction to logarithms and what logarithms actually mean. So until next time, happy learning.